in the next story for you. Philadelphia gets ready for the world's largest game of Pong. Now, before that story, I really didn't know what Pong was because I think Atari came out before my time. Um, and so I was like, oh, Pong, what's that? Like beer Pong? Ping Pong? That's all. I mean, I knew beer Pong from college and Ping Pong, you know, everybody knows about Ping Pong. But the classic Atari video game will be will be recreated later this month on a facade of a 29-story a 29 story building with hundreds of embedded LED lights to replicate the familiarity of the pad and the balls. Organizers expect hundreds of onlookers as, as, gaming, as gaming enthusiasts will use the giant table-mounted joysticks to play from afar. The players will be, will be standing on the steps of the, of the Philadelphia the Philadelphia Museum of Art at the site, uh, the site, because you know, basically, that site offers an unobstructed view to the 29-story building, which is across the river. Um, and this is going to be the world. This might be the world's largest pong game that has ever been played. Um, it'll be played on April 19th and April 24th. For all folks listening in, um, all of our folks listening in Pennsylvania, you should go check it out. Um, it's going to be part of Philly Tech World. Um, and the new websites, yeah. And on top of that, this game is going to be recreated using hundreds of lights embedded on the north face of the Circa Center, or the Sura Center, which is where it's going to be played. Um, either way, I'm not a game enthusiast. Um, I, this is a producer pick for a story. Not that I would have picked the story, because I really don't know what else to say, but I think this is pretty cool. I, got, I give you that point. It's, it's really cool. Really cool to sort of, I guess, play a game of Pong, which I've never played before, so I don't know what to tell you. Um, you know, on a big building and I hopefully they'll set they're probably going to set a Guinness Book of World Records too so that would be interesting and that would be a lot of fun so shout out to them go Philadelphia that's where my producer's from by the way if you guys didn't know my producer's from Philadelphia um, so I guess this is why he picked the story